Good morning. Welcome to the Keto Mom page. My name is Stephanie. We're still going through this book called The Noticer by Andy Andrews. This chapter that we're going to go through has nothing to pertain to keto, and yet I'm going to help it pertain to your life in any circumstance or any situation that you're in currently. It's so interesting how I was reading this this morning, and if I would have read this chapter yesterday, I would have been like, all right, I get it, except for we had a situation happen, uh, not directly with our children, but something that need needed and needs to be addressed, and it has to do with choices, and it has to do with mistakes, choices, and consequences, and I was like, crazy that I'm reading this today. It has to do with forgiveness, whether it's yourself or others. And so I'm not going to tell you the actual situation that we are working through, but it's funny how things come up, obviously, when they need to, right? And so here's the deal. If you are brand new, I would love for you to post new below so I can get to know you. If you're not brand new, you know that I like to come on and talk about anything that has to do with mindset and helping you on your journey to becoming a better you, whatever that looks like, right? So I firmly believe, I truly believe that your mind is powerful. Your words are powerful. Good morning. So nice to meet you. Is it love, Shannon? Shannon Love. <clears throat> My daughter's middle name is Love. Eliza Love. So. What I love, that's funny, is the is really truly helping people understand that, listen, I can help you learn how to eat. I can tell you what to eat. I can tell you the foods to put down. I can tell you how much water to drink. I can tell you how to simply get started on your fat loss journey. And it's very important that you learn the power of how often we can sabotage ourselves. We can... Uh, not believe in ourselves. We can make up excuses. Unforgiveness has a real toll on whether we eat out of emotion, right? There's a lot more to do with your health journey than you think. And if you allow yourself to dive into it and truly work on your mindset, then guess what? Uh, it will help you immensely. Good morning, Connie. Good morning. All right. So we're going to dive into the book. Uh, but first, if you're ever looking for recipes, if you're learn looking for past books that we've done, if you're looking for anything that's helped me on my journey to get us to where we are today, seven years, go to ketomomsecrets.com. All right. So ketomomsecrets.com and you can click on lots of different things to look at. So here's uh, what I'll talk about this this morning is here's the book for those who are asking. <clears throat> Hey, why don't you say one thing you're thankful for below? What are you thankful for today? I, <laughs> I'm actually really, truly thankful for books. I'm thankful for wisdom from other people that have already gone before us that can teach us so that we don't have to make the same mistakes. I'm truly thankful for books, for podcasts, for people that share wisdom so that we can learn. What are you thankful for? I would love to know. All right, in this chapter, I don't read it to you. I give you, I love that. I'm, I'm thankful for my amazing children too. And my family, all the things that you're going to say, same. Here's the book. So in this chapter, remember this book is not a one, two, three, how to hit your goals. That is this book, right? But this book is more of a story form. And in this chapter, the story is based on a man that made some poor choices. And so basically... I want you to think about choices, decisions, things that either you have made or other people in your family or in your sphere of influence in your environment have made. And he's basically saying this. He goes, oftentimes people will say, I made a mistake. I made a mistake. And listen, I don't know where this is going to pertain to you in life, but I'm going to talk about it because it's actually something that we have to physically walk through. Here in the next couple days, something happened last night, uh, not really involving our children, but kind of involving our children. Uh, anyway, so it's interesting that I'm reading about this right now, right? It didn't hurt. It didn't really involve our children, but we are in the middle of the, all the different people. So <clears throat> here's what I will say. Somebody needs to hear this. And 
The chapter in story form is about a man that made poor decisions. He made choices that put his family last, right? That he didn't show up for his wife's birthday. Like maybe he didn't show up for a kid's game. Like he didn't prioritize his life. And then things had happened in his work environment and basically lost trust from everybody that he knew, right? And so in this situation, he has said, I made a mistake. I made a mistake, right? Maybe you're holding on to things from your past because other people made mistakes. Maybe uh, I often have people say, I eat out of emotion because of, and they name things in their past, right? I do things today because, and they name things in their past. It might be a person or circumstances or things that had happened. And the person that guides the book, the main character's name is Jones, he says this, he goes, I want you to think about this. There are mistakes and there are choices, right? And every day you get to make choices. And even down to like we say the things that you eat, right? There are mistakes and there are choices. And mistakes are like, he gives an example. It's actually a really great example. He goes, here's a mistake. If you get lost and you wander through the forest in the dark, unable to see, unaware of the cliff that's nearby, and you stumble off the cliff and break your neck. Extreme. But he goes, that's a mistake. You wandered in. You got lost. It was dark. It was a mistake, right? He goes, but let's say it's day daylight. You are, you are wandering around the forest and you are told to never go in the forest, right? He goes, there are no trespassing signs up, but you think that you can slip in and slip out and not get caught. You physically saw the signs that say no trespassing. Now, again, let's say that you fall off the cliff and break your neck. He goes, that, my friend, is not a mistake. It was a conscious choice. You knew not to do something. You saw the the sign or you were told not to do it and then you made the choice to do it, right? So he's basically saying there's mistakes, there's choices. He goes, and then he, he labels all the things that he did that were choices, not mistakes. Hold on. And then he talks about the power of like forgiveness. So some of you need to forgive yourself, right? For mistakes or choices you've made in the past. You know, so many people reach out and they're like, I'm not happy with where I'm at today. They might blame their parents. They might blame, you know, a, a, a spouse. They might blame somebody that said something to them that caused them to eat out of emotion, that caused them to turn to food. And as a result, they have never forgiven that person or themselves, and you are where you are today, right? And all we're, if all we're doing is talking about food, it's a big deal. Because people take food and they tie it to unforgiveness. They eat out of emotion. They eat because they're angry. They eat because they're sad, right? And so he just says this. He goes, forgiveness is about the past, right? Some of you do have to forgive things in the past. Some of you have to forgive people, things that were said. It doesn't mean that you trust. It means you forgive because out of forgiveness, you can move forward and start working on yourself. And some of you have to actually forgive yourself. He goes, <clears throat> forgiveness is about the past. Trust and respect are about the future. Forgiveness will be in the hands of others and can be given to you, but trust and respect are in your own hands and they must be earned. And so he talks about the power of mistakes, the power of choices. I don't know if this is speaking to anybody, but I'm going to keep going because I read it this morning. It's the next chapter. And here's something that I actually want you to truly hear me on, right? So then he says, I need you to know something. There are people in your life that are watching you. In this case, this man had a son. And the man coaching him said, your son will become the father. I'm sorry, your son will become what his father becomes. Your son is watching you. Your son is seeing how you handle situations. Your son is seeing the mistakes or the choices that you make. And I could even, <clears throat> excuse me, say this. My children, our children, my four girls, our four girls watch what we do, right? They watch the things that we put first. They watch the choices that you make. They watch the words that you say. They, they watch everything, right? We often say more is caught than taught, right? And so let's just say 
if all we're talking about here today and right now is the food that you're eating. And you, let's just say the things you're, you physically taking care of yourself, right? We'll say you can't give to others if you don't feel well. You can't overflow into others if you don't feel well. And the people that are in your environment are watching you. And if it's only children that we're talking about, they are going to grow up and they're most likely going to have a relationship with food like you do. A relationship with the gym or certain awarenesses or <clears throat> whatever like you do, right? Usually they handle their emotions like you do. They react or respond like you do. They handle situations like you do. And so if all we're talking about is how you take care of yourself, I want you to think about that and think about the people that are watching you and the choices that you make. And if you are like going around the same mountain and we talk about like doing the same things over and over again and having to start over and over again, maybe take a step back and go, I need to do this to take care of myself so I can pour into my children, pour into my spouse, pour into whoever else that you pour into because they're watching me and not watching me with like a negative eye or a pointing the finger like you didn't do this, but they're watching me and they're going to copy me. They're going to do what I do. They're going to take it seriously or not take it seriously. They're going to hear me say, oh, I'm going to do it this time. And then they see me break the promise to myself again and again and again. So there are mistakes and there are choices and there are people watching you. And if you've got children, they're going to ultimately kind of become you. Not that people can't change, right? That's a whole other topic of forgiveness. And uh, maybe you had an alcoholic parent and you've chosen not to. Like, I'm not saying that you can't change. I'm just simply saying if you can focus and work on yourself and overflow into other people and you have children, just think about how you can help them today understand the power of their choices so they don't become adults and have to start where you're at today. Does that make sense? So I think this book is great. Here's one last thing that he says. He says this, at this very moment, you possess the power of perspective. You can choose to see your life becoming whatever you wish. If you choose, you can move the mountains in your life's path with, the eventual, with eventual help from those who will come to love you and learn to respect you for who you are becoming. So with that, this is the book. <laughs> that was the chapter on mistakes, choices, forgiveness, trust, respect. I want you to forgive yourself. I want you to trust yourself. I want you to know that if there were mistakes in the past that have caused you to be where you are today, like there's forgiveness for the past and then you have to move forward, right? So this is the book. If you want to grab it, if you want to read it, great. If not, you can continue to tune in here. I think there's a couple chapters we have left and then we'll move on to something else. Um, if you have questions, send me a message. I'm here to help. You can always go to ketomomsecrets.com and I appreciate you. So thank you for commenting. I really, truly, truly appreciate it. I'm going to go dive in and help and not help. I'm going to go homeschool my children. We have school to start and we are walking this out today as well with some friends. And so as far as choices and forgiveness and uh, where to go from there. So I hope you guys have a great day. I truly appreciate you and we'll talk to you very soon. Bye.